Hey guys, so today I'm filming my nail polish collection video and I've been requested to do this video in the past, like a while back, but obviously since that time I've collected and accumulated more nail polish. Just a quick disclaimer before I kind of go through all the colors on my nail polish rack. Um, by no means am I like trying to show off all the nail polish I have and like, oh my god, I have so many, I can open up my own salon. Um, no, me and my sister both share a lot of the nail polishes. Um, I did purchase the racks actually by myself just because my sister didn't want to spend money on that. So when I move out, I'm taking those racks with me and my nail polishes. But um, we needed a better storage unit for our nail polishes because our collection got so out of hand and crazy. Um, the reason why I'm also filming this video is because we do want to get rid of a bunch just because they're old you know how nail polish gets watery, clumpy, um, just colors not the same so they go to the garbage. So I thought that I should film this before they do go to the garbage and um, this will probably be as big as my collection gets. I don't really plan on it getting a bit bigger. I have every color I could possibly need um, and I think most of the nail polishes are reasonably priced except for maybe a couple that I'll be showing you. So. Without further ado, let's get on into the video. I'm sorry about the lighting. The lighting may not be the greatest just because my bathroom lighting is very orange and um, warm toned and as opposed to this is more cooler toned because I have my lighting sets behind the camera. But yeah, hopefully that won't be too much of a bother for anyone. I'm going to go through the ones I kind of um, get a lot of wear out of and the ones that are great quality and then the ones that are not so great. So let's get on into the video. Okay, so I have two nail polish racks here that both hold, I believe, 120 nail polishes. And they hold brands like OPI, China Glaze, Essie, Sally Hansen, all just like the typical nail polish brands um, that you'd find at a drugstore or a nail salon. And then on my other wall, I have the same rack here um, with some more of those brands and some random brands as well. Um, I'm sorry for the echoey kind of talking over this video. Um, my bathroom's not the best place to film kind of these um, voicing videos, but let's start with this rack. So I got these racks I believe from Etsy or eBay, maybe Amazon, I'm not quite sure, but I know you can find these racks on a lot of online websites, so I will try to link down below um, any similar racks or maybe the exact ones if I can. I did buy this a few years ago. They were not cheap. I think they're around 140 each um, or something like that, but they're definitely worth it in my eyes just because they're on my wall and they're not taking up space and I mean they're just perfect. You can see all the colors laid out perfectly and it's very easy to access in the washroom. Also, there are not two nail polishes side by side here. This is actually a mirror right here. So it looks like I have double the rack, but I don't. It's just one rack here and then one rack on the wall beside me. So we are going to start with this top row here. I organized them by color and by brand. I tried my best. Sometimes the colors don't quite kind of go in order, but I tried my best to make it look like that. So we're starting from the top left hand corner top row. There is one, two, three, four, five, six rows. And as you can see here, they roughly hold around 12 nail polishes. This is with OPI bottles and China Glaze bottles on the same row. So starting at the top row on the left here, we have OPI's Black Onyx, which is just a black shade, which is my sister and I's like favorite black nail polish we own. Then we have a dark green color, almost black on the nails, which is OPI's Here Today Are Gone Tomorrow. Then beside it here, we have OPI's Lincoln Park After Dark, which is a darker purple um, blackish shade. Beside that we have OPI's Siberian Nights, and this is just a dark purple. The one beside that is TZ Desert, which is just a darker purple with a ton of like red and purple shimmer glitters in it. Now you can't see here really with the lights because the lights kind of um, are reflecting off the rack, but this color right here is OPI's You Don't Know Jacques, and it's just a darker brown color. You can tell the color separation. Um, with the bottle here. It hasn't been used in a while and there's a ton of dust on it, but that used to be one of my favorite shades. Um, a Blair Fowler on YouTube talked about it when I first started YouTube and I was like, I need to go buy it. She talked about it. The shade beside that is Berlin There Done That. This shade right here is Blue My Mind, which is just a super nice royally blue, really reflective color. Like in the bottle, it just does not do justice. One of my favorite blues to wear on the nails. And then the color beside it is Ski Teal We Drop, which is just a teal color with a little bit of blue. 
Then we have this OPI shade right here, which is called Anti Bleak, which is just kind of like a purpley magenta color. Don't wear that one too much. And then this one is My Big Break, which is a very sheer color, not really one of my favorites either. And then at the very end here, we have one Butter London Nail Polish, because these ones are very expensive, and um, you can't really find them um, in a lot of stores where I live in Canada. So this is in the color Wallace. It's such a unique color. It's like a golden green grass. I love it. It's great for fall. Taking you down to the second row now, we have this OPI polish here, which is from a collection. This is in the shade Sapphire. The color beside it is You're Such a Budapest, which was also from a collection. It might have been the Shrek one. I'm not too sure. It's a beautiful lavender color on the nails. The one beside that is just a perfect poppy red, and this is in the shade The Thrill of Brazil. The shade beside that I think is discontinued now, but it is Chapel of Love. It used to be one of my favorite polishes when I first started wearing nail polish and getting into makeup. The color beside that is Short Story, which is just a hot, bright bubblegum pink, which is really, really cute for summer and spring. The color beside that is OPI's Sweetheart, which again, Blair Fowler talked about in many, many, many videos ago. Um, and that's also why I bought it, because of her recommendation. So you can see that one's well loved, it's almost done. The one beside that is Bubble Bath, which is a very similar color to that, very neutral on the nails. The color beside that is Alpine Snow, which is just a white polish. My sister had a huge phase with white nail polishes, that's why the bottle's kind of dirty and it's very, very well loved. Now getting on to the China Glaze polishes, this one is the Magnetic Nail Polish, so when all the YouTubers were going through that phase with Magnetic polishes, this one was the one we purchased. These two here are from, I believe they were from the Hunger Games collection, maybe not, I don't really remember, but they're really unique colors as well. This one's in Harvest Moon, this one's in Electrify, and they're paired together, they're so pretty. If you wear this on all your nails and that one on your accent finger, beautiful color. This shade's called Your Present Required. Moving down to the next row, we have more China Glaze. This is in the shade Frostbite, which is very similar to that OPI one I showed you earlier. Beautiful color. This is in the shade Dorothy Who, which is just a shimmery, fine glittered polish that's blue from the Dorothy collection, I believe, or Wizard of Oz. The one beside it is So Blue Without You, which is just a medium blue shade with finely milled shimmer as well. The shade beside that is Secret Periwinkle. The shade beside that one is For Audrey, which used to be so raved about on YouTube, not so much anymore. Super well loved nail polish. The one beside that is Too Yacht to Handle, which is just a turquoise -y color. It was also from a collection, I think it was like their cruise summer collection or something like that. The color beside that is Sea Spray, which is just a really light, like kind of a grayish blue, and it shows up so pretty on the nails, so unique. Nothing else like I own. The one beside it is Refreshment, which is just a mint green, another well-loved nail polish that a lot of YouTubers talked about in the past. The one beside that is Entourage, which is just a medium green color. Beside that is Ruby Pumps, which is kind of the same formula as this blue one over here. Really finely milled glitter. Um, you can wear all over the nails, really, really pretty. The one beside that is Santa Red My List, so this is definitely from a like Christmas collection, which is just a shimmery red color. This color here is 108 degrees, and it's a really bright, fluorescent pinkish, fuchsia, shimmery color, iridescent color, I don't really know how else to describe it, really fun for summer. Alright, so moving on to the next row, this one is China Glaze Innocence. This one is super, super sheer, it takes many, many coats and doesn't dry properly, so this definitely did disappoint me, but I heard Aspen talking about it a while ago, so that's why I purchased it, um, but I wouldn't recommend purchasing that one, there's a lot of other baby pinks that are better. This is in the shade Peachy Keen, which is a really pretty peach color for summer. Um, again, you can see the color separation, so hasn't been used in a while. This color here is Shocking Pink. My sister and I had a huge phase with this. This is all we'd wear. I think this is one of the only nail polishes we've bought in two bottles of because we ran out of the first one, and you know how hard it is to run out of nail polish. This one here is Flip Flop Fantasy, which is a corally bright neon shade. I love this color. It's very um, comparison to Shocking Pink in the brightness level. This one here is in Celtic Sun. This one's a very, very thin, liquidy polish. Takes many, many coats again. Not really my favorite to apply. Just kidding, this one's called Sun Worshipper, not Celtic Sun. This one here is called Celtic Sun. This is a bright neon, like, yellow. Very thin as well, so you'd have to definitely put a white polish underneath and then put the neon color on top so the color would stand out more. Now moving on to the Essie Nail Polishes. This one right here is called Very Structured. It's a medium brick colored brown. I think it came from a collection. This one beside it is Saint Tropez, I believe. And this one is a well-loved color again. Very neutral, cool-toned, um, like a nudish gray color. I love this one for the nail all year round. 
This one beside it is in the shade uh, Power Clutch. And Power Clutch came from a collection, a fall collection, I think in 2014. Um, it's a darker grayish taupe color. The one beside it here is Chinchilli, which is just a straight up taupe gray. Very nice color. A lot of YouTubers have talked about this. This one's one of my go-to polishes as well. This one right here is so psyched. This one has the color separation. You can tell it hasn't been used in a while, but when I first got it, I used it a lot. This one here is Shake Your Money Maker, and I don't really like the finish of this polish, but the color is beautiful. It's like a straight up emerald green, but the one beside it is First Timer, and this one came up from a collection, and I love that green. It's one of my go-to bright colors I pull for in the spring and summer. This shade here is in the color Navigate Her. It's a limish green color. The color beside it is Beach Bum Blue, and this, I don't think it's from a collection, I think this is part of their permanent line. Um, more color separation, haven't used it in a while. Not really my first choice blue color. This one here is a thing called In the Cabana. Yes, it's In the Cabana, and this one came from the same collection as First Timer. They're both formulated so well, the color is so strong. You only need about two coats. Love it, one of my favorite colors. The color here is Mint Candy Apple, which isn't really a mint color, it kind of reminds me of the color right beside it, which is in the color Borrowed and Blue, and Borrowed and Blue came from their wedding collection, so these are very similar. This color here is in the shade Lapis of Luxury. That's a really pretty, like, medium purpley blue shade. It's not really doing justice on camera. This color here is called Playdate. I just had my nails painted this recently. I love this purple shade. It's one of my favorites for, again, spring and summer. Color beside that is Lilicism. It's a light pastel purpley gray color. This color here is orange, it's obvious. The color beside it is peach daiquiri. Love this color, so pretty. This color here is Fiji, which is what I'm wearing on my nails today. This one takes a lot of coats, so it is really frustrating to um, make sure it looks good on the nails, but if you do it right, it looks really nice, so I really like this pink. The color beside that is Ballet Slippers, which is just a pale nude, almost pink, I want to say, on the nails. This one takes a lot of coats. So moving on to the bottom row here, we have some Revlon and we have some Sally Hansen. So starting from this end, we have Black with Envy, which is just a dark gray color. We have Emerald City, we have Plum Night, and we have Royal. Blue Lagoon, and Minted. So, I don't know. These ones, I don't really love the formulization of them, but these three definitely are the ones I lean towards if I were to pick any of the Revlon shades. And then here, I used to wear a lot of these, but now I don't really anymore. This one here is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry in Quick Sand, which is just a nude. This color here is Come Gray, Espresso, Wind Up, Brisk Blue, and blew away. So as you can see, the light blues and light purples and light greens are colors that we have multiples of in different um, brands because those are just colors we lean towards the most. Um, so I do use these two um, out of these colors here. Okay, so I know there's a little bit of a glare from the lights in the background um, that you can see my finger in the shadow um, right here, but you can still see the gist of colors, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. So let's get started with the top row. The top row, working from this side to that side, we're starting here with the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nail Polish Line, and I think they're a pretty good nail polish line for the drugstore. Um, their colors are super opaque. You only need a couple coats, and it's drugstore price, of course. So the first color on the very far left here, which is this silver color. I'm not going to pick it up because it'll just be faster if I don't. Um, that's in the color Celeb City. The color beside it is Pacific Blue, and Pacific Blue is a vibrant, medium-toned blue that me and my sister use all the time in the summer. It's like our go-to bright colored nail polish. The color beside that is Blue It. The color beside that is Rockstar Pink. The color beside that is Deep Purple. The color beside that is Lacy Lilac, beautiful lilac color for the spring and summertime. The color beside that is Coral Reef, also really good for spring and summer. Um, the color right here, the yellow color, is Mellow Yellow. Now that one's a little bit more sheer, you definitely do have to build up with the coats and do multiple on your fingernails. Now getting over to the Sally Hansen Salon Manicure line, I just have a few of their polishes, but theirs are pretty good as well. Um, starting from this color here, this color is I Pink I Can, which is just a corally, um, medium base pink. It's pretty cute for summer, I like that one. The one beside it is Pink A Card. That's a more pastel -y, a light shade of pink. Um, you definitely need a lot of coats for that one. It's quite thinned out with the formula. 
The color beside that is Barracuda, which is just another light baby blue color. I know we have so many of those. That's all I really have in this collection is baby blues. The colors beside that, um, they don't actually have color names. So these two right here are to do like French manicures on the nails. So it's just in natural white and natural nude. Um, those haven't been touched in years, so I'm definitely going to toss those ones. But the color beside that is a like goldeny bronze nail polish. That one is um, very unique, something I don't normally see in different nail polish lines. That one's in the shade Rave Review Critique. So now getting on to the second row right here, we're going to start from this side again. So this is a darker purple we're starting with. You can see it hasn't been used in a while because of the color separation at the top. That's in the color Applause. The color beside that is in the color Diva, and that's from their um, new lengthening like ceramic formula nail polish. Um, I don't know if that nail polish uh, still exists because again, I bought it a long, long time ago, but these ones right here, these two are quite sheer, just a heads up there. So yeah, that one's in the color Diva. The one beside that is Fiery Red. The one beside that is Jewel Frost. The one beside that is Simply Strawberry. The color beside that is Sheer Beige Gloss. And then we're getting on to the LA Colors nail polishes. So these are quite inexpensive. You can buy um, from like clothing stores like Sirens and Urban Planet. Um, I wouldn't really recommend them for the formula. They're not the strongest formula polishes out there. And they chip pretty quick. So starting with this turquoisey blue color, it's in the color Atomic. And then the color beside that is Phenomena. Then we're getting on to the Wet n Wild polishes over here, and these ones, um, they're quite inexpensive as well. I want to say they're only a couple dollars from the drugstore, but um, the brush isn't that great. The colors are okay. So starting with this turquoisey color again, this is in the color Caribbean Frost. The color beside that is in the color Burgundy Frost. The color beside that is Tickled Pink. Then we have Blazed, and then we have this like super shimmery, um, silver finely milled polish but it has like different kind of rainbow speckled sparkles in them which is super cool and that's in the color Kaleidoscope. That's actually our second bottle of that polish that my sister and I bought because it's just such a pretty accent color um, to put on your like fourth finger or on top of the polish. It just looks really really pretty so if you want some sparkle definitely um, look for that one at the drugstore. So now we're going down to the third row here. We're going to start with the Orly polishes. Orly polishes I find are super underrated. Nobody really talks about them. I'll hear about it every now and then, but no one really talks about them anymore. So I'm going to give them some love. Um, the formulas are pretty good. I like them a lot. The brushes are nice, and I like the color selection they have. These are my probably one of my favorite like um, bright colors from their collection. So I'm going to start with the very end again, and this is in the color Oak Cabana Boy. The color beside that is Cotton Candy, and the color beside that is Glow Stick. Now Glow Stick I do like to put on top of a white polish because it brings out the color more, makes it last longer, and it just gives you a more like thicker surface on the nail. This little mini trio set I got from Orly, I got as a gift from someone uh, like a long time ago. It doesn't say the colors on the box or on the nail polishes individually, so I'm just going to have to skip right over that, but they are just like different finishes from cream to sheer to glitter. So going on to the Nicole by OPI polishes here, they're not quite aligned pretty, but starting with this one here, this is in the shade Playing Hooky. The color beside that is Love Your Life, I'm pretty sure that was from a Selena Gomez collection. Um, a few years back, definitely. The color beside that is Boysenberry, which is like my go-to burgundy color. It looks not as good in the bottles as it does on the nails. On the nails, it looks beautiful for fall. And then we're moving on here to the Vinylux nail polishes, and I haven't heard too many people talk about these on YouTube, but they're quite a new brand that they offer at the nail salons to get your nails done. So, I don't know, maybe we'll hear about it more in the future, but by far, the nail polish formula is probably one of the best out there. The color selection is unique. I got like the three most unique colors I thought they had that I didn't have in my nail polish collection, obviously. So starting with this one here, this is in the shade Sugar Spice, which is just a like goldeny bronze. Um, I don't even want to say finely milked glitter because it's not. It's more of like a shimmer polish, but that one's definitely unique. I love it. The color beside that is Married to the Mauve, and then the color beside that is Indigo Frock. So I really recommend these nail polishes if you're looking for a new brand to try, some unique colors. And then we have these two like nail striper things on the end that you do nail designs with on your nails. My sister and I don't use those too much, but we just have a white one, a silver one, and we did have a black one, but I broke the bottle. And then the second last row here, we just have some miscellaneous type of nail polishes. So we have some Milani polishes on the end, which I've heard a lot 
lots of YouTubers talk about many years ago. They're just like the straight up glitter polishes, very chunky glitter, as opposed to many of the ones I've showed you have been like finely milled. This one here is in the shade silver, this one here is in the shade gold, and this one here is a multicolored nail polish that's a glitter and that's in the color gems. Moving on to the Sally Hansen Gem Crush Nail Polish. I'm pretty sure they discontinued this, um, but it's in the shade Razzle Dazzler, and that's a more of a finely milled glitter, um, so you can definitely do a few coats on your nails, and it'll be like a full opaque glitter on the nail. I only have one American Apparel Nail Polish right here, and it's one that I've heard that's been talked about, and that's why I purchased it, because I really wasn't too sure about the other colors. It's such a pretty summer color. It's in the color Summer Peach. It's a more of a thin formula, so you definitely do have to put a few coats of that on, and the drying process is a little bit longer. The brush isn't my favorite on it, but, you know, it's doable. It's a pretty shade. The color beside that, the label's kind of turned to the side there, but it's an NYC polish, and that was quite inexpensive as well, and that's in the shade MoMA. You don't even need a lot of coats for that, which is super surprising because you would think with like a more inexpensive brand, inexpensive brand, it would require more polished coats. The color beside that is a Sinful Colors nail polish, and that's in the color Let's Talk. Then we have a Forever 21 nail polish in the shade Dark Blue. Then we have a Kit nail polish, which is in the shade Lady in White. And then we have a color changing nail polish, so it's like adjust to your mood to change colors. When you put it on your nails, it adjusts to your mood and then it changes colors. And then moving on to the last row right here, there's just a bunch of different like strengthening nail polishes, um, different top coats, bottom coats, so I'll go through those quickly. Um, the very end one here is just a natural nail growth serum. This one here is a growth treatment with green tea. This one here is called the Tough Cookie. So this one is a nail strengthener with Ochime, I believe it's what's called, or Ocume. Um, it's supposed to really harden your nail up. This one here is a matte top coat. This one here is a no chip top coat, which I use every time I paint my nails as a top coat. And then this one here is a gel finished top coat. So if you want that like gel manicure look you can get at the salon with like bio gel and um, shellac, that's definitely like the type of top coat you're looking for. And I totally skipped over this one. This is the Nail Envy um, nail strengthener um, from, what's it called, OPI. And I always use that as a base coat before I paint my nails. So looking at this nail polish rack, I definitely don't use these polishes as much as the ones I do on the other rack, but there definitely are a few that I do reach towards. Like I do reach for um, a couple of the Vinylux colors, the Orly colors, that um, American Apparel color right there, and then obviously the top coats, bottom coats. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't seen many YouTubers nail polish collections lately. Nobody's really been uploading them. Let me know in the comments down below which shades are your favorite, or if you do have a shade that I didn't have in my nail polish collection that you thought I will like, you can leave that down below as well and I'll check it out. And don't forget to comment, like this video, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.